Fun fact, when we lived in the unit, I would, not this unit, we lived in the building for a few years, I would have binoculars and I would just like to people watch. Natalie thinks I was specifically watching everyone party at the Marquis de Club. I that don't think, I know. Semi-true. <laughs> Hey guys, we are here at the Waldorf Astoria in Las Vegas, and we are going to show you a couple of our listings in the building. Um, fun fact, Natalie and I used to live here for several years, and this is my favorite building. I think it's the best building in uh, all of Las Vegas, maybe even Nevada. The only reason we moved from here is because we were ready to start a family, but if it wasn't for that, we would still be here. Yeah, my favorite part, was being able to just like walk to Javier's or walk to Mastro's for lunch or dinner and you know the shopping, people watching, walking to the hockey game. What was your favorite thing about living here? I mean everything from what you just mentioned to the service that they provide here and what 24 hour. <laughs> Everything. What don't they Here's do? There's Miss Queen um, <laughs> room service. Queen like, of yeah. room service. I, I'm so glad that he wasn't on top of our bill for our unit because yeah. I loved ordering. You have access to that 24/7, um, and you, I loved going down to the spa and getting massage and just going right back up to our unit. There's just nothing like that. Yeah. So let's go check out some properties. All right. So before we go out, we just want to give you the lowdown on the building. There are 225 units in the building and those uh, units are on floors 24 through 47. One of the great things about living in the Waldorf is we have our own separate ballet, we have our own you know, concierge, our own lobby, our own conference room, and the only time you really interact with hotel guests is if you're in the gym, or you're in the restaurant, or you're kind of hanging out at the pool. But um, yeah, separate elevators, and uh, it's private, it's boutique, uh, it's, it's something that every buyer would want, checks a lot of boxes. All right, we are going to unit 2909, and uh, this is one of my favorite floor plans. Real quick, before we go inside, I wanna show you these valet closets. Every unit is equipped with them, and basically if you're out of town, or if you're in town and you don't wanna be disturbed, the security will come open this door, put your dry cleaning, put your packages, put whatever you need in here, and then you'll come around here and you have your own door to access it with a lock. You open it and then you just grab, you know, you grab your, your package. Pretty cool, right? But welcome, Natalie. This is, uh, is this your favorite floor plan? This is one of my favorite floor plans in the building and I'll tell you why. So from this unit, you actually get Bellagio fountain views from your living area down on this corner. Um, for example, in this particular unit, from your dining table, you could literally be eating dinner and watching the Bellagio fountain show straight from your dining area. And you get to watch people party at the Marquee Day Club <laughs> at the Cosmopolitan. That's Cameron's favorite <laughs> yeah. thing to do. Fun fact, <laughs> when we lived in the unit, I would, not this unit, we lived in the building for a few years, I would have binoculars and I would just like to people watch. Natalie thinks I was specifically watching everyone party at the Marquis Day Club. I that don't think, I know. Semi-true, <laughs> but great unit. It's 2,094 square feet, can come fully furnished. Uh, interior designer came in and just decked the whole property out. Uh, it's comfortable if you're entertaining. Um, you can you know, easily accommodate 15, 20, even 25 people in here comfortably. Um, but yeah, just come check it out. So check out this kitchen. One of my favorite things about it is that there's floor to ceiling windows through here. So lots of natural light and the kitchen is not just tucked away in some corner. And the views, I mean, you get sunset views directly from here. And my favorite, one of my favorite things to do is just kind of chill, watch some TV, but you get to do it with this wraparound series of windows. So you get the west mountain views, you get the north views, you kind of get like a little bit of everything, the best of all worlds being on this corner of the building. So we looked at the family room, we got the dining room over here, we got the, the living room over here, and then What's unique about this floor plan are the two bedrooms are tucked privately away from all of the common areas. Back here you have your uh, powder room, the guest bedroom,
and the primary bedroom. Very comfortable, perfect size. Bedrooms are meant to be slept in and not lived in, but I feel like this is just a, a good size uh, and it has all the natural lighting, lots of closet space. And um, yeah, I think you can just really live comfortably in this floor plan. The key thing Cameron said was closet space. It's mm -hmm. one of my favorite things that she did in this unit is build out a custom closet in here, um, maximizing all the space. I know the ladies will appreciate this. So one of the most competitively priced two bedrooms in the building currently for sale. Natalie, tell them the specs. So it's 2,094 square feet, two bedrooms, two and a half bath, and a phenomenal living space, open floor plan. And it can be sold fully furnished, turnkey, fabulous price of only $2.5 million. So enjoy. When I used to live here, we would hang out at the pool on weekends. You know, they have cabanas, they have, you know, food. And, and as a resident, you get complimentary cabanas uh, throughout the year, but very great vibe. Um, they have a cafe out here, uh, a bar, and just a, a really cool place to just chill and maybe read a book or just tan. All right, so fun fact, we are in unit 2706 and this is the floor plan that Natalie and I lived in for, for many years. It's my favorite floor plan. It's the one bedroom with the den. The den has access to a, a three quarter bathroom so it can kind of function as a second bedroom if you needed it to, but very open floor plan. One of the few floor plans that has that kitchen and living room and dining open combination, but this is the best part of it right here. This is, when you Google Las Vegas Strip View, this is what you see right here. Yeah, it gets no better than this. So this is one of the penthouses in the Waldorf Astoria. We are on the 43rd floor and this particular penthouse is uh, 2,167 square feet, two bedrooms, fully custom, built out from gray shell. Uh, this is something that you won't see in the traditional uh, units in the building. And when I say penthouse, Las Vegas has their own definition of penthouse. They go by a series of floors. If you're talking about penthouse in New York, Eric, it's always the top floor. But in the Waldorf Astoria, the penthouse units are on uh, levels 41 through 47. And then the, the units below that, that's called the, the luxury collection. So the only real difference is the penthouses, you get you know, slightly higher ceiling heights, depending on which floor you're on and there's only seven units per floor. If you're on the luxury collection, which is floors 24 through 40, there's 11 units per floor. That's the main difference though. Um, bigger units on the penthouse level, but uh, custom fully decked out. You have a disappearing wall. So this actually is a two bedroom, um, but it can open up to give you more living area. And these glass panels, what they'll do is they'll slide out to create your wall to uh, create the partition between the bedroom and the actual living room. So that is a unique feature that you don't see in a lot of properties. All right, and that is the Waldorf Astoria. You looked at a couple of our units that we have for sale. You probably learned some insights that you may not have realized about the building. But if you are if you like this video, please go ahead and like, comment, subscribe, share, uh, and uh, looking forward to seeing you guys and connecting in the future. Thanks.